After that, then I will show you uh, what was made. So, just do a very quick demo. Um, okay, so the first one is uh, this ultrasonic sensor which uh, Fastly was showing just now. Right, so I am actually going to show you actually what this does. So this this thing actually measures distance. Okay, so what it does is measuring the distance to the to the nearest thing. So if you put your hand here, you see that it goes down by here. No. Further away, it goes further away. No. So this is actually a distance sensor. Can you see that? Okay. <coughs> this will tie into my presentation later. Okay, so this is one uh, sensor that is used. So if you see this down here, so it's usually used as a colleg uh, kind of a sensor to, so that the robot don't run guys and stuff. Like right. Okay. So another interesting one is this. I'm going to put in a new firmware.
different with it. Okay, and, uh, this would be something people call a very credit. Because a lot of people in the maker movement see like, oh, I make this thing, make a bag like up. So, you know, like, no use, right? That's what a lot of people take, only for fun. So this project with Ultrasonic Sensor is something that I did for my own uh, business. Uh, it's a family business, so I can... It's a very simple idea to use Ultrasonic Sensor. Ultrasonic Sensors are cheap, okay? Um, look, they are less than $5 for one. So, what I did is basically... Uh, don't you can see it? Up there, that's the Ultrasonic Sensor. This is a shell, right? That I built myself. And putting ultrasonic sensor on top will be able to measure how high this is. Right? So when you measure how high, how you know, you know the height of one, right? So in, in other words, this shop, right, how many you put in, right? You straight away know the quantity. And this is how I keep inventory of my product. Okay. So <clears throat> it because it's able to count, so the shelf is actually smart in a sense. People take out, you know, people put back in, it knows. You add, um, this is the Arduino board. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you came to our getting started with IoT event last year. Okay, that is the Espresso board. It's made with, uh, it's, it's made with this chip called the ESP8266. Okay, uh, it's a very interesting chip. It's actually made by a Singaporean. And what's so interesting about this chip is that it has wi it's a processor, it has Wi-Fi inside. But the biggest thing that it did, which previously uh, changed all the rules about Wi-Fi that is really, really cheap. Okay, last time, if you look at the Arduino website, there's such a thing as a Wi-Fi shield. You can take a Uno, you can put a Wi-Fi shield on top. But generally, you take these two, you put it together, it's going to cost you $100 at least. This chip is $2. So, when it's $2, right, it becomes like, oh, you can Wi-Fi this, Wi-Fi that, you can put Wi-Fi into everything. You know, I mean the board itself, uh, Luther, how much does the espresso cost? 14 dollars. Huh? 14 14 Yeah, it's only $14. So you can do $14 to the Wi-Fi board. You add a few ultrasonic sensors, I tell you, less than five, uh, like, see, you, you put it at $5, then how much is it going to cost? That whole shelf, the electronics, mm -hmm. did not cost more than $50. Right, so this is the bag, at the uh, LCD, uh, OLED display, uh, espresso board, and uh, 16 ultrasonic sensors. Okay, so of course, because it's Wi-Fi, it's actually updating to the web, and from the phone, we can all check the stock level and everything. So this is, I would say, a very practical use of Arduino. Right. Um, this was a project I did with Linus and Agatha, Linus over there. Um, this is projection mapping with interaction. Okay, what is it? I'll just show you a video. This was actually we posted this last year. Oh, what do you see that? Um, you recognize this? Alright, so what we did was we made a fabric whereby So you see, when you touch the fabric, right, you're able to to uh, change the projection. Right. So this is more. Uh, this was a project that I did together with uh, Lina T. It's more like an arts, technological, artistic project. You know, part art, part technology, part design together. So um, how it actually works is basically like this. Right, um, over here you'll see later if you okay. So here you have the Arduino. This little board is what you call a capacitive touch sensing board, which is the same blackboard you see here. This goes into the MacBook. This is running a software and this is this is a mini projector. So you see, when you touch it, the Arduino sends a, sends a command into the computer which changes your projection and it does what it does. So it's actually two different systems working together. You need 
an actual computer which actually does the projection and then you need an Arduino which actually controls the interaction with the person. So it's two things together. Yeah, so this was the first time we did, uh, I did a project like this. This was when uh, we first started the project and just showed the proof of concept. And when you can touch a piece of fabric and we can change something that happens on the screen. So the final thing that was made is very, um, it's very interesting because to the to the audience, right? Like this whole thing is a piece of fabric. How come I can see things happening? You see? So you have conductive fabric and conductive thread all working together, which is what I'm showing you here just now. Okay, so this is the actual board. Uh, so this is a uh, Arduino Uno with below. I make my own shield. Uh, this is a capacity start dancing board from Adafruit, which I bought from uh, 12 gigs. <laughs> I'm not sure if I paid you for this. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Long story, okay? Um, so how it works is that we actually mounted the, the fabric on a piece of wood, obviously it has to be hard. Um, we drew holes. So the fabric and the piece of wood we drill a hole through. Uh, the, the, the conductive track goes into this spot which you, will, you can see you actually tie a, a knot onto here and then it changes into a wire and then goes into the Arduino. And then from here, the Arduino you plug the USB and then goes into your computer and then the projector comes from the other side in. Okay. Um, so this project was actually made for a event called Fashion Revolution Day. Uh, these are all the people that were actually playing with the board. So, I actually worked for that projector that is somewhere here actually went down. Uh, so, this is the video of the actual day itself. And you can see uh, people are actually playing with this project.